Welcome to our channel, where we provide valuable insights into customs brokerage, customs bonds, and international trade. In this video, we will discuss the duty drawback program for imports. Join us as we explore the eligibility criteria, benefits, and the process of applying for a duty drawback program. Duty drawback is a customs program that allows importers to claim a refund of customs duties, taxes, and fees paid on imported goods that are subsequently exported or used in the production of exported goods. To be eligible for the duty drawback program, importers must meet certain criteria, including Importers must provide documented proof that the imported goods were either exported in their original condition or used in the production of exported goods. There is typically a time limit within which the drawback claim must be filed. Importers must ensure that their claim is filed within the specified time frame. Some duty drawback programs require importers to substitute the exported goods with goods of the same or similar kind. This ensures that the imported and exported goods are directly linked. There are three main types of duty drawback programs. Unused merchandise drawback This allows for a refund of duties when imported goods are exported without being used in the US or other specific circumstances, such as damage or destruction of the goods. Manufacturing drawback This applies when imported goods are used as inputs in the production of exported goods. Importers can claim a refund of duties paid on the imported inputs. This allows for a refund of duties when imported goods are returned to the foreign seller or are destroyed under custom supervision due to being unfit for use or sale. The duty drawback program offers several benefits to eligible importers, such as cost savings. Importers can claim refunds on customs duties paid, resulting in cost savings for their import operations. Duty drawback enhances the competitiveness of U.S. exporters by reducing their production costs. Duty drawback provides importers with a potential source of cash flow through the refund of previously paid duties. Importers can optimize their supply chains by considering the duty drawback program when making sourcing and production decisions. The duty drawback process usually involves the following steps. Importers must determine if they meet the eligibility criteria for the duty drawback program. Importers must maintain accurate and comprehensive records of their import and export transactions, including invoices, bills of lading, and customs documentation. Importers submit drawback claims to the appropriate customs authorities. Claims include details of the imported goods, exports, and other necessary supporting documentation. Customs authorities review the drawback claims, verifying the documentation and ensuring compliance with program requirements. Upon approval, the refund is issued. Customs authorities may conduct audits to ensure the accuracy and legitimacy of the claims made. Importers should be prepared to provide additional documentation or information when requested. Importers considering the duty drawback program may benefit from consulting with a licensed customs broker who specializes in duty drawback. Customs brokers can provide expertise, guidance on program requirements, and assist with the claim submission process. Importers should stay informed about changes in duty drawback regulations and program requirements. Regularly consult customs authorities, engage in industry associations, and stay updated on relevant publications to ensure ongoing compliance. The recent passing of the Trade Facilitation and Trade Enforcement Act of 2015 has resulted in the refinement of duty drawback regulations, making the program more accessible and advantageous. Importers should stay informed about these regulatory updates to maximize their potential benefits. Thank you for joining us in exploring the duty drawback program for imports. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more insightful videos on customs brokerage, customs bonds, and international trade. Stay tuned for our upcoming videos. Thank you, and have a great day.